Good morning, everyone. It's February, and winter is coming to a close. February is dedicated to Black History Month. This month, we recognize African Americans and their contributions to the formation of today's society, celebrating African American culture, music, and most importantly, identity. Mr. Hall gave us a great insight into the importance of this month. I think in the social science department, we pay special attention to Black History Month for a variety of reasons. Uh, all of our classes from seventh grade geography all the way through economics uh, deal with Black History Month in our own different ways given the fact that our students are of such different backgrounds and of ages. Uh, but I think ultimately our intention is to recognize the contributions of African Americans and their achievements, uh, and it, the achievements of people of African heritage and here in the U.S., we tend to focus on the achievements of the African diaspora. Here on this continent, on the American continent, I see February as an opportunity for students uh, to truly learn about the contributions of African Americans on our nation's history, as well as to challenge students' preconceived notions, uh, any pre preconceived notions they may have. Uh, in my class in particular, the students have learned about figures such as MLK, Malcolm X, the Tuskegee Airmen, um, W.E.B. Du Bois, uh, and Basquiat. Jean-Michel Basquiat, born December 22, 1960, was an artist best known for his neo-expressionist works. Having been moved by the murder of Michael Stewart, a New York graffiti artist, Jean-Michel Basquiat created one of his most influential artworks, Defacement. His legacy includes having been the youngest participant in Documenta, a well-known contemporary art exhibition in Germany. He was known to be a close friend of Andy Warhol, collaborating with him often. His works now sell for several millions of dollars and are collected and highly sought after, especially by hip hop artists. From the strokes to a tribe called Quest, Basquiat has been highly celebrated, not only in art circles, but also in music circles. Basquiat sadly died in 1988 at the age of 27. ANA TV's contribution to Black History Month ends with someone on campus that we all know. It's important to me because I strive to be someone who wants to contribute to this country. As a black man in America, I want people to understand that, you know, I am an American. And my ancestors and everyone that's come before me has just paved the way for me to be in the position that I am today. And I want to honor that. You can only fool reality until it come knocking at your door. Michael B. Jordan. What's the point of having a voice when you're going to be silent in the moments you shouldn't be? Angie Thomas. Thank you, Porter. Next up is Julian DeGraff Johnson with some insight into one of the top four. Enjoy. You may know him as the guy who always yells in front of formation, but really there's a lot more to him than that. a and TV presents A Day in the Life of a Command Sergeant Major. Hello, Battalion. My name is Alex Jenkins and this is a day in the life of the Battalion Sergeant Major at the Army and Navy Academy. All right, so in the morning, I wake up at around 5.30. I like to wake up early just so I can complete any tasks of the day before the school starts. For example, as soon as I wake up, the first thing I do is I get out of bed and make my bed. As Admiral McRaven said in his make a bed speech, the first thing you should do in the day is make your bed because it gets, uh, you complete one task and it, uh, leads into success for the rest of the day, basically. Uh, after I make my bed, then I get ready, I put my sweats on because it's pretty cold at 5.30 in the morning. I get my bike out and I go meet up with Panastic and Satso and we go for our morning bike ride. Of course, I gotta wear my helmet for safety, as always. So after I get back from my bike ride, I start to prep my uniform for the day. Uh, I take a lot of pride in wearing my uniform correctly and with all my awards because how am I supposed to expect everyone else in the Corps to wear their uniform correctly if I can't as the Sergeant Major. So um, I try to wear my uniform correctly every day and I, I think it looks really good, especially the ASUs. So after I put my uniform on, I go to the mess hall and mealtime is something I value very much because the rest of my day is packed with meetings and all sorts of other activities that I am required to do. And so it's a time that I just get to relax with my friends and talk and eat some food. So the next thing on my schedule, of course, is to go to class. Just like everyone else, I go to class as well. All right, 
right, so uh, after school, if I don't have any special meetings or anything going on, I always try to get down to the weight room because try to stay big. Get it, get it. Nice. Every Monday at 7.30, we have our first sergeant meeting, and that's basically a time where all the first sergeants come into my room and we talk about some of the upcoming events or any other information that I need to pass on to them. So the last event of my day is to just complete my homework, and uh, as soon as I complete my homework, I have some free time to relax with the rest of the staff and have some free time to myself. Well, that concludes my day as a battalion sergeant major at the Army Navy Academy. I hope you're all wearing shirt stays, wear your proud, wear your burger. <laughs> Thank you, Lawrence. Be nice to your counselors. Next, we have some sports, some sports updates. Porter Rogers with our surf team. a and TV visited our surfers and watched their recent competition. We also spoke to a few surfers about their experiences. This year, our team has learned a lot, and we have Shane Larson, our lifeguard, to talk about safety on the water and a little about himself. So yeah, I started when I was eight, so it's been about 16 years. So start out small and slowly work your way up towards something that you feel comfortable with. And uh, practice always makes perfect. So if you go out and you're falling all the time, just know that you're not going to be an expert your first time. You just have to keep practicing. When you pick up surfing, the best board to start out on is a wave storm because it's a big board and it handles the wave a lot better. A short board, you're going to fall a lot easier if you haven't surfed before, just because there's, a not, there's not as much buoyancy as a wave storm or a longboard has. Callan Shivers points out that there are definitely a social and emotional side to surfing. Yeah, it, it helps with my emotions because I really, uh, if I'm having a stressful, stressful day at school, I like, I like to go out and surf because it like relieves a lot of stress. I don't know, like when people are out there and it's fun to like socialize with people while surfing, like talk to other surfers too. Spencer Lott actually placed in our last competition and the team did well. Congratulations. Enjoy the waves guys and stay safe. For ANA TV, I am Porter Rogers. Last but not least, we have our awesome soccer team. Thank you for watching. Here at ANA, we love to recognize sports and our players' accomplishments. Our soccer team has been through a lot this season. They now have a winning record of 8-7. and seven. We had the pleasure to interview Gage Canarelli on how they turned their season around. Chemistry better is just practice, repetition, just hanging out with each other all day, eating with each other, you know, bonding in general. This team is definitely the defense uh, and the, the captains in our defense. They definitely pull it together and keep us uh, our heads high when we feel low. Upon Todd Job has had a big impact on the soccer team. We learned that he always has a great attitude off and on the field, and he's great to be around. Uh, I think it was just because we were all sort of new together. We hadn't played with each other. Um, a lot of us are a little rusty. Like I hadn't, I hadn't been playing since the start of the school year. Like I hadn't been playing football. I guess completely switched my sports. Um, and I think that yeah, I think we just needed to work a little better with um, like just working with our communication and just like teamwork in general. And I think now we're doing that a lot better. Alex Polson, right back defender of the team, and backup goalkeeper. Highlights the role of the coach. Really like your traditional coach, you know, we, we really only have one. So his responsibility is to ensure that we all stick together as a group and to make sure that we play good soccer and he always ensures that we can be the best players that we could possibly be. Coach Contreras is proud of the work and effort his team has put in this season. I think just that, that brotherhood that, that this uh, campus has a lot of. Um, and just, again, having fun with it. I think throughout the whole time, even when we were losing games pretty badly, um, there was a positive attitude and they just had fun with it and they just kept working at it. These players are also proud of their coach. Charismatic. Amazing. He really knows what he's doing. Caring. Involved. He's really kind. Uh, almost like a kindness king. Thank you for watching. For ANA TV, I am Ryan Purcell.